Hey, how's it going? Diamond here. Today, we're going to be taking a look on how to upload a Minecraft map from the very start all the way to the end. I'm going to teach you guys every single step that you possibly need to know in order to get it set up properly. I'm heading over to Build by Bit to grab a map. However, none of this is sponsored by anybody except for Revive Node. If you guys want to check them out in the description down below using the promo code Diamond, you can get your very own Minecraft server and upload your very own world today for only a dollar per gigabyte. And using the promo code Diamond in all caps, it goes even lower down to cents. So if you want to check them out, everything you need to know is in the description down below. But let's get straight back into this video. For now, I'm going to be using this map again, not sponsored. It's just a map that I really like and we're going to be downloading it and uploading it to the actual server. For that, I'm just gonna go ahead and click download. And now we have the file. However, if you check out the world behind me, it doesn't really look very appealing. It's gonna cause more lag because entities can spawn anywhere and we don't even need all of this terrain. So what we're gonna do is create a void world. Unfortunately, it's a extra step that we have to do because it's not a simple just switch or toggle a feature yet within Minecraft files, but I'm gonna teach you guys all that right now. All right, now we're back at the home screen because this is where we need to start off. We're going to go ahead and click on single player. And if this is your first time creating a world, you'll probably get this screen. I am doing this on version 1.20.1. It doesn't really matter what version you do. As long as I believe it's anything from 1.16 and above, it should be a similar step. For this, what we're going to do is create our world as Minecraft always creates a server by default with the world name world. I'm just going to set the name as world as it as it's going to make our life a lot easier. If you do switch this, all you need to do is go into server properties and then switch it over to whatever name you did create. But we're just going to go ahead and set up as world. I'll set it up as creative and then difficulty doesn't really matter. We can go into world and we can go ahead and click on world type. We're going to set it super flat. Then we're going to hit customize and then we're going to go with presets. Here you can see the void. We can use that preset, click done, and then create the world. It'll take just a few seconds and there we go. Now we have this completely void world. I'll give you guys a few steps that you should probably disable or enable once we upload it. But after we are done, we can go ahead and save and quit. And then we can go back into our single player world. Now we have this world. We can go ahead and click on edit and then open world folder. Well, you see a folder like this open and here we can just go one folder back by just clicking on saves. What I'm gonna do now in order to make it process a little easier for myself, I'm just gonna create a zip by right clicking on my folder, then clicking on new and then compressed zip folder. I'm just gonna call this map and then I'll drag and drop it right into my zip. Next thing we're gonna do is hop into our server. And for this one, I'm gonna go into file manager. And in here, we're just going to go ahead and delete the world folder. Like I said, if you set it up a different name, this step probably doesn't even matter as much. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it though. And then I can go back into our folder. And in here, I'll just go ahead and drag and drop the zip into our server. You should see it all the way at the bottom here. Less than a minute ago, I can just go and unarchive that. And now we have our world uploaded properly. Sadly, that's not the final step before we get back into Minecraft. What we will need is fast async world edit because this is going to allow us to easily input the schematic over we're going to go ahead and click download and then here we can just go ahead and select last successful artifacts and i'll just click this one and then heading back to our server we can go into plugins and just upload our plugin that we just downloaded just drag and drop it into the folder and after a few seconds it is done next step is we're going to start the server at least once to make sure all the files are generated properly now that that's done we don't need to restart the server anymore we're going to go into file manager here we're going to go into plugins fast async and then we're going to go into schematics what we're going to upload here is the schematic that we downloaded, which is the blue forest. We're going to open that up and then in here, we're going to open it up again. Depending on where you downloaded from, it could be different if you got it from Planet Minecraft or Build by Bit or schematics are really up to you. Sometime the layout of the files are going to be different, but I'm going to be looking for files and 1.18 plus and I have a schematic file here. What I can do for that is I drag it into my downloads because you can't drag and drop from a zip. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop that now to the server and now it's called schematic.scam. I can just right click, rename and copy that entire name and then go back into Minecraft and we're gonna go back into our server. Now that we can actually just join the server and what we will see is a completely void world. Now that we're actually in the world, here are some commands that I really suggest you guys to run. And of course, it's depending on your Minecraft version. If I believe anything from point to open above, you should be able to just do slash game rule and then we're gonna do do weather cycle and we're going to set it to false this is going to stop any weather from happening in your minecraft world and we're going to do do mob spawning false this is going to stop all mobs from spawning 
and do daylight cycle false. This is going to just stop it from ever going day or night. And last one, time set noon. It's gonna set the sun to noon and the brightest it can. This one isn't as important because if you wanna have a night map, you can switch it to whatever you want, but these are just some of the things that you can actually do. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a wand now and I'm gonna select both ends here and set this to zero because we no longer need it. And we can do skim slash slash skim load and then that file that we just copied schematic.skim go ahead and click enter it may take a little bit ours is pretty quick but we can do slash slash paste and i highly suggest you guys do this minus a this is going to remove all air blocks in that schematic making the pasting process a lot quicker not as resource heavy and here we go the map has uploaded properly and it looks awesome it looks fantastic it's pretty detailed and Again, this is not really a map showcase, it's more of the tutorial, but the reason we did all that process again is so we can have the void world to ensure our server has a better performance instead of trying to load resources or areas that it's not needed. One final step, of course, is what you can do is figure out where the spawn is at or where you want to spawn. For example, my spawn would be here. This isn't a permanent, but it's a good thing to do just in case it's a new world. You can do set world spawn. Anybody that joins will just be joining here from now on. And that's it. That's the whole entire process of uploading your world correctly. And there you have it. That's the whole tutorial right there. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to leave a like. Other than that, let me know what else you would like to see in the comment section down below. I always make sure to read them. But you guys have an amazing day and I will catch you next time. Cheers.